Hi, my name is Neela. I'm a second year life sciences student at the University of Toronto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the jumping rice experiment. With this experiment, we're going to be exploring the concepts of sound and how sound waves work. For this experiment, you're going to need a bowl, one tablespoon of uncooked rice, saran wrap, scissors, one spoon, and one empty box. So the first thing we need to do is cut up a piece of saran wrap, just enough to cover this bowl. And then we're going to cover our bowl, the top of our bowl, with the saran wrap. Now we're going to put our rice on top of the saran wrap. Now we're going to take our box and our spoon and we're going to hit our box as hard as we can and watch what happens to the rice. Sound travels in waves and these waves can cause objects to vibrate. When we hit the box with the spoon, this causes sound to be made and the sound waves created by this travel to the saran wrap and disturb it and cause it to vibrate. And when the saran wrap vibrates, this causes the rice to vibrate as well. So when the rice is jumping up and down, essentially we are seeing sound waves. We are seeing sound waves work and the sound waves vibrate and disturb the saran wrap, which causes the rice to appear like it's jumping. Eardrums actually behave a lot like the saran wrap. When a sound wave comes into your ear and vibrates your eardrum, this causes an electrical signal to be sent to the brain and processed so you can hear things.